Why, hello there. My name is James Collects, and if you're finding me for the first time, I'm someone who resells stuff on eBay so that I can afford the nerdier things in life, including unboxing cool nerdy stuff and just collecting stuff, really. Um, we can life of everything that goes out. I'll let you know how much it's sold for, roughly how much I paid for it, and anything that comes in as well. So without further ado, it's Saturday early afternoon, and eBay's gone a bit mad. And actually, before I do anything, I need to put these in a safe place. So these are Egyptian gods, obviously, uh, paid £2 each. I'm not going to make huge amounts of money. Uh, it's not anywhere near as good as it was, that like I thought it was when I was in the shop. So I'm going to package these up now, throw them in a box, and then label the box so I know exactly what's in it, because they are just potentially going to break and take up a lot of room. So I've got to box these up, and then I'll let you know what's sold. And the gods are gone, but we have sold a tribal SP. It's only a 001. Uh, it's been on eBay for about a month or so, but it had sold originally, and the guy who bought it realized he couldn't pay with his payment method for some reason, uh, but we've sold it again. It is tested, it is working, and it's sold via the GSP for 54.99 plus shipping, I think. And here's a bit of proof, because it's in the pudding. Low battery though, but there we go. And just in case, that is the serial number. This little section here, it's about to get very full. I hadn't even put it away. Only listed for a few days, two or three days. And it is a Peacock Furby. Uh, bought it for a fiver, uh, put it nice and cheap just to get rid of it. Furby Boom, sold for 17 99 plus signed for shipping. Now to get up into the loft. I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm not actually picking anything up. That's dinosaur related, but we have an item in here which is a Necron Destroyer. Brand new in a box. It should hopefully be. Oh, hang on. It's just like an expansion pack or like um, add ons. It's that. So, where you've got the original figure. If it wants to focus for me, which I don't think it will. Where well, you got the original figure, this is like a an armor and a weapon upgrade. Sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And poorly pets, my pet practice, sold for $5.99. All in. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13. Uh, this sold for bear with me. $7.99 all in. Lovely jubbly. Look out for your golfing games because some of them are bloody gems. Not this one, it's just like mediocre fodder. And I've I've literally like not moved. I'm still in the same spot. But I picked this up from the charity shop, I think, for a quid over in Marlow. It's just your bog standard lightsaber, but Obi-Wan! Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan? Did I say Wan? I think I did. I'm not going to edit it out though. Uh, the the hateful comments will do wonders for the algorithm. Uh, this sold for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. Not bad. We sold these Levi's sliders, so bought them for a couple of quid, uh, two maybe three. Sold them for seventeen ninety nine plus sign for shipping. Uh, I actually had someone message me regarding the same person who's bought them. Messaged me twice, um, but obviously people expect the Amazon service where you answer immediately. Before I had a chance to answer, the bloke bloody bought them. So yeah, at least they're sold. So there is another item, but unfortunately that's for my parents, but I'll pick that up when I go and pick up my daughter tomorrow. Uh, by the way, I'm having a wife and daughter free Saturday night. So I will be parting very, very heavy with cups of tea. Uh, but we sold this Disneyland Paris Walt Disney World Toy Story Aliens hat for $23.99 all in. As I say, one other item to grab from my parents when I go there tomorrow. Keep on knocking a goddamn camera. Okay, so it's Monday evening and these are the items going out. So we've sold, if it wants to focus, that as well, but I haven't got it in front of me. Um, but we have sold the Bose Lifestyle Model 5 for $29.99 plus shipping. Um, and that is still not in focus. Lighting in here is terrible. It's going to Denmark um, via the GSP. Lovely jubbly. Uh, then the Pacific Rim figure sold for £16 on auction plus shipping. 
Medal of Honor sold for £2.99 all in. Gin Jetaxius sold for £11.69 plus shipping. And then Pro Evo 2016 sold for £4.99 plus shipping. Time to get all this done while my wife is drying my daughter's hair. So it's currently Wednesday and I've been to one charity shop all week because <laughs> work's been really, really busy. And I've not really been doing as much as I probably should have. But we did sell Twisted Metal Black Greatest Hits, the US version, for £6.99 uh, all in. Cost me a quid. And I've actually got to run up into the loft and grab two British Museum Natural History dinosaur thingies. Oh my god, I've not been in the loft for at least like three days. And I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely shattered. So, oh, I'll sit you down in a minute and tell you what's happened so far this week work-wise as a part of my normal nine to five. This should hopefully be bagged up. Well, I don't think there will be actually. I think he's one and then he is another. It looks about right, I'm just getting out and double check. I think I paid like a quid for three. So this would have been a 66 pence investment and it sold for 24.99 plus shipping okay so work it's been really really busy basically there was uh, a job that we had come through ages ago where someone got admitted to hospital and they weren't allowed back in because it was unsafe and it's our job to make it safe so they can then get home a uh, hoarder one bedroom property and understandably being a hoarder he didn't want to let anything go uh he unfortunately never made it out of hospital so we're now working on behalf of the next of kin to basically get the property empty uh we bear in mind it's only a one bed property we've filled up a luton vehicle three times and my vehicle two-thirds of my vehicle four times we've been there for three days uh, I don't think anyone's going to be there tomorrow. I think we're next due there Friday, possibly Saturday. We've not even started the garden yet. It's just been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Like loads. <laughs> it's the most I've seen in such a small property. I think the most we've done is a four bed. And that was a lot. But the, the thing is, whatever space you're in, you fill it. It's a bit like reselling, really. If you're in a little one bed and you're reselling, you'll fill it. If you've got a unit, you'll fill it. If you've got a warehouse, given enough time, you'll probably fill it. So it's just been very, very busy. But I managed to get home and, yeah, have, have a shower and try and not smell so much. Oh, we've got to do the fridge as well which is full uh, actually we've um we've got we managed to get a whole box of food which of in date food that's all going to a food bank uh which is quite handy um it's only like 30 40 kilos worth of food but it's better than nothing uh we've the guy has been there since 82 83 so you can imagine some of the food that we've been finding <laughs> it's just been a very very in interesting couple of days but i don't qu often get to do these jobs i'm normally out sort of pricing up jobs and, and not really getting to get stuck in so this has been a nice change to to really get involved but my god i'm shattered i'm broken my middle of my back hurts my knees hurt yes i know i'm an old man but this is the part of the job that I, I absolutely love. I really, really do. So that hopefully when the job is over, which it's going to take a bit longer because the loft is also full. Um, we couldn't actually physically get into the loft when I ran, went around to have a look because there was so much gear everywhere. So the idea is to, to get it completely empty so that the next of kin can decide what they want to do with the property. Um, next of kin turned up originally just um after the original client had passed and what is typical with these sorts of things is the 
original client won't let anyone in. They become very recluse and they don't let anyone through the front door. Um, first time she'd been there for a very, very, very long time and she didn't even step inside. She looked inside and said no. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. But weather's rubbish, but that's England. And guess what else has happened? I've, <laughs> I've hurt my right knee. I wasn't even doing anything. Uh, I was, <laughs> I was cooking in the kitchen as most people tend to cook and I twisted my knee. Bearing in mind I'm supposed to be going to the London gaming market on Sunday which is going to involve a lot of walking. <laughs> so I, I, yeah I'm knocking the car boot on the head this weekend. I've been meaning to go to the London gaming market for ages. I've been to the one in Milton Keynes just before uh, Covid kicked off. Uh, remember when that was like not a thing and um, yeah it's been on the list for ages and I've sort of always put it off put it off put it off and I'm putting it off no longer so I should hopefully be meeting Kieran there is also plans to meet other people um, from slightly different circles which I'm very much looking forward to but yeah at the moment I've got a gammy knee Hopefully it will clear up in the next day or two. I think it was just a quick twist. But what a pain in the bum. But packaging is almost done. I mean, there's only two items to do. I should have had got this done bloody ages ago. Uh, but yeah, I'm an old fogey. So a wee update on this oddly nice Friday. Um, my leg, my right knee is better. It did start healing yesterday, so I think I just twisted it in my old age. Uh, I've bought a fair bit from the car boot, but I've not actually like recorded much, which is really annoying. Um, but as I say, this week's been really busy. Uh, I've now got to go to a COVID secure site and, and clear everything there as well, which is probably gonna take up most of my morning, which I'm really not looking forward to. Uh, so yeah, I am going to the London Gaming Market this weekend, which will be last weekend for you guys. The idea is to take this old beast of a, of a camera. Um, I can't quite show you how big the setup is with everything on it. Um, but it's uh, it's noticeable when you're carrying it around and, and vlogging, that's for sure, more than a, than a phone. Um, so I'll take everything i need to uh, clear the gopro charge the gopro etc etc i know this week for sales it's been absolute dire but i've i've not been sending offers i've not been listing this is possibly the least amount of work i have done on ebay definitely this year um but in in quite a bloody long time so the fact that ebay for me has died it's not really a surprise uh, I'm just uh, burnt out. To be honest, the the job earlier this week, the the one, no, the three day thing, uh, it's just it's killed me. It really, really has. So uh, I'm not used to it. I'm used to sitting in the van, sitting in the van and going and doing little jobs and and pricing up bigger jobs, not actually doing them. But yeah, all this fun. Uh, I've got one item to, to package, which is a Timon and Pumbaa mug thing, which you guys will see later on today. And I'll get it all packaged up, ready to go out. Well day morning. But I'm looking forward to a takeaway, possibly a Chinese tonight, and a lion tomorrow. Because I've only got one thing planned, and it's to go and see a mate at like 10 a.m but it is in Marlow, so still a line would be very much appreciated. But yeah, uh, right, I best go to work and actually do something for a living. Okay, okay, it's Friday. This is likely to be the last sale of the week. And it's just there. So Timon and Pumba sold for, drum roll please, uh, 50 quid plus shipping and it's also going out via the GSP to the United States 
So I was going to mark these so that I could obviously keep track in case they got damaged in transit. But uh, GSP, not needed. Okay, so as I was just saying, it is Friday, it's the end of the week, which is normally when I tell you how much money I made. Now, I'm not expecting big things, as I said earlier in the video, I've, I've really slacked, I've not added any new items, uh, I've not been sending offers, I've not been doing, I, this is the least work I've done on eBay in a very, very long time. Um, however, tomorrow's video, pickups, Car, uh, charity shop picked up some good stuff so fingers crossed I'll get a chance to do that at some point over the weekend uh, but we've got things planned already <laughs> oh, I just saw my seven day total my god are you ready 268 pounds and 42 pence <laughs> that's bad wow wow <laughs> I'm still waiting for payment for four items. Uh, it's still not happened, but yeah. 31 day total is just shy of two and a half K. 90 day total is now under eight K. Bearing in mind, I like to keep the 90 day between sort of nine and, well, between eight and 10 really. But yeah, it's um, energy crisis. I think it's gonna be hitting a lot of people. I think there's, there's gonna be big changes into in reselling I think um, there's gonna be a lot of people doing it you think there was a, a boom when the pandemic hit I think you've seen nothing yet personally reselling is about to become second nature to a lot of people that's just speculation though so I have to wait and see what actually happens but it is Friday as you might be able to hear there's a bit of noise downstairs uh, the girls are back so I'm gonna package my Timon and Pumba up and then go and enjoy the rest of the day. I uh, hope everyone has a lovely weekend. The weather looks like it's gonna be good. So obviously you're seeing this afterwards. I hope you all had a lovely weekend and I'll catch you guys soon. Au revoir.